yards. Turn left. highlighted route. Calculating route. You have arrived. That was good times, boys. See you soon, now. See you soon, bro. It's all good, ladies. about you, mommy. You want to give me another taste of that shit? Sure. I'd love to get together. Let me up. Come on up.
Tom, this is Mori. I'm getting spiritual with nature and shit. You have arrived.
Don't get your hands too dirty, L. How about you start off simple and drive? Dímelo. Let's do this. Let's go. Yo, L. These guys got a boat all packed with product and it's ready to go. Ready to be taken, you mean? Yeah, bro. That's it. I mean, let's do this then. How's your mom? She's okay. I think she prefers you and A to me, though. I ain't been a good son. She a good woman. You lucky. Maybe, bro. But can we focus on business right now?
in a burger shop. I'd rather die. I'll beat you like my meat, bitch! Bro, you always pull us through this shit. Great rolling with you ladies. Later. Proceed to highlight. There he is. Get in, you driving. It's time to get paid. Let's go. guy's got a bull all packed with product and it's ready to go. Ready to be taken, you mean? Yeah, bro. That's exactly what I mean. Let's do this, then. You know, I feel bad for you, L. Why? Because we can both end up dead or in jail in the next few minutes? No. Because you want to be something you ain't. You want to be a business guy. And you just a street thug. Me? I know my place. Thanks, H. Sure, I got a temper, but I don't see life that way. Just over here. No come out of deal, assholes. Fuck you. Got the shit on board, man. Let's get out of here.
out of this crap. And don't worry, I'm gonna die or something. I can't really see myself working in a burger shop. I'd rather die. Like this, you weren't here, bro. Don't waste all that money, guys. Please call you soon. Big Al, yup. I tell you, it's a rush driving around with this shit. You just daring people to fuck with you. This will get your dick hard. Oh, yeah, bro. I can't thank you enough. I like it. It's just a thing. Later on, L. Best sex you can have, guys. Right. Yes. Yes. You gotta hate him, Paula. That's what I'm telling you. You gotta hate him. Um, okay. Yeah, and every time you make love, don't make love. Make it. <laughs> Call him names. I really mean it. Little dick, no balls, that kind of stuff. Let him hit you a few times. Pop! Just on your freaking face. And then you really let him have it. I said to my lady, really, go on, smack me around. Take that chair, hit it right across my head. Bam! Because that's erotic. That. Men like this, Paula. I'm telling you. And then, Paula, give it to him with a baseball bat. Mm, yeah. So he's seconds away from calling the cops. Or, of course, we can always deliver the good crack in the... <laughs> Baz. Uh, okay. Thanks, Baz. I'll be sure to try that and let you know. Thanks. Next caller, come into the men's room. <laughs> Jeremy Bud, this show is gonna be fucking great! <laughs> oh, oh. So, uh, who's on the phone? Hey, Baz. My name's Travis. Your show sucks. You're not so tough. Yo, you teach all this stuff, but I could take you. Trust me, I have a gun. All your stupid roundhouse kicks and stuff can't beat a gun, homie. Lead travels fast, biatch. Oh, Travis, buddy, please hang on the line, okay? Because I want to tell you something. The Garden of Lavender and Roses is one that you have to crawl through over thorns with a knife in your mouth. Exactly. You bite back the tears with the blood running down your face. Mm. This analogy is for life, and it's all covered in my next book. Crawling through the garden of lavender and roses over thorn with a knife in your mouth and slightly aroused. Yes. Listen, I teach you, Travis. You live in Liberty City, right, uh, Tudor? Uh, uh, yeah, but, but how do you know that? Well, let me tell you this. Pretty soon, in about five minutes, you will hear a knock on your door <laughs> and three guys will be there. Hmm. The first rule of violence is don't always commit the crime yourself. Now, if you are choking on the sheriff and waiting for the posse to come or making the cyclops cry, it's no matter because sometimes we all have to wait in the dark. Discipline. I tell it to Jeremy all the time. Discipline. It's discipline. Don't let the images, Jeremy, of your stepfather haunt you. Don't, don't let him. Don't tell no, him no, about No, 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 no. You're a man. It's okay. It's okay. What happened is in the past. You're still a man. Okay. Don't worry. You are alone. Alone with your heartbeat. Life quickly spirals out, to, out of control, Jerry. Hmm. I mean, come on. One day, you look in the mirror, and then suddenly, 
you just punch it. Punch! And at that moment, you look at yourself in the mirror and you see the broken reflection and you, you feel empty inside. Bass, come on, let's, let's get back on track here. That's right. When you fight the game of your life, punch your opponent in the liver and that is right there. That's the liver. You have to have the wings of an eagle, the body of a lion and the tail of a howler monkey. People say, hey, listen, I don't want to study martial arts. The problem with martial arts is the years of training and celibacy. You can't fuck. It's out of, out of the fucking question. It's well known that ninjas aren't allowed to touch themselves or they lose their edge. And if you lose your edge, not good. Now, this gives you great focus and precision when you're cutting off someone's head. <laughs> My method is I teach you how to feel his anger. Obliterate, obli obliterate, obliterate your opponent and ruin his chances at reproduction. And you know what? You're gonna get the girl in the end. It's a great story. You know what else is a great story, Jeremy? Well, I really like Little Red Riding Hood. World War II is a great story. Vietnam, the Falkland Islands, Australia. Man with bare hands taking care of business. Setting people on fire. <laughs> Burning their faces. And that's all the time we have for this time. A hairless vagina that you have no shame in exposing. Pencil thin arms. Come on. You are ready for the final test. I can I? Now you are ready for a final awkward transformation montage. hope we have. Save your dead ninja parent souls. Team up with a moody, angst-ridden, overly effeminate, androgynous, sword-wielding teen boy. Defeat the alien armada. Loop animation a lot to save production costs. Just like last time? Yes. Only this time, futurist Tokyo is not under threat from the forces of darkness. It's not? No! It's under the threat from the forces of evil. Now, trust me, when I say this, I'm a total expert in this area. The forces of evil just can't stand the forces of darkness. They can't? No! Please, uh, one is East Coast, the other is West Coast. I mean, if you listen to the way that they sound, it's completely different. One doesn't even use instruments in the tracks. The other one is all like looping and like... <laughs> You know, like that stuff. They tried group therapy and everything, but it hasn't worked out. Let's head to the next scene because I'm talking nonsense again. <laughs> oh, yeah! Stupid bitch! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Oh, ooh, yeah! Hey, why didn't you help me? Oh, too horny to fight crime. Why do I have to say that line in every film? This is terrible. Merchandising. Oh, okay. That sounds artistic. Oh, excuse me. What's wrong with you? Are you blind? What? Well, yes. I'm so sorry, me and my big mouth. My sight was taken from me by the Shogun of Tepenyagi. It was this terrible hibachi accident. The onion volcano was too powerful, and my parents were burned alive. I'm a blind samurai. I'm unable to love. <laughs> You're not exactly a samurai. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, then you picked out the wrong costume. Shut up. This outfit is easy to make into a plastic doll. <laughs> okay. Well, I wanted to be a ninja, really. But, like, I mean, your parents are ninjas. And, like, they did. Which is, like, even better. So, like, they made me into, like, this goddamn samurai. Like. Yeah? Well, I'm a sex fantasy for creeps. 
Oh, that sucks. Tell me about it. Anyway. You want to hear something that sucks, okay? The last thing I saw was a man flipping shrimp tails into his hat. Imagine that, okay? Get your mind around that. Flipping shrimp like on a cruise ship. Forever. For eternity. Terrible. What a strange way to go blind. Well, at least he won't be hard to find. I could help you get revenge on the shrimp tosser. Right. But it won't be easy. He has restaurants at strip malls across the world. What's your quest? Visit the graveyard. Um... I have to visit the graveyard. And pick up a carton of redwood lights on your way home. Remember, lights, not the menthols. I am jonesing. <laughs> Get up, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's. <laughs> the ratings are. Told me about my. Hey. Uh, fuck off, Luis. Ay, Dios mío, have we been through this already? Been through the fact that you wanted to kill me? Been through the fact that you're far from alone that desire? This is over. It's over. I just want to go someplace far away from here and quietly wait to die. I lived it. I lived it hard, and now I'm ready to end it. Oh, shut up, you hysterical fucking queen. Get a grip, bro. Oh, yes. Silly me. <laughs> Silly fucking me. <laughs> the Russian mob want me dead. My best friend just contemplated murdering me. The mob are on my case. I'm massively in debt, and, and I just lost two million dollars worth of diamonds. Any other man would just dust himself off and carry on. Look, uh, okay, I'm sorry I thought about killing you. I really am. But if you keep up with the bullshit, I might have to kill you for real. Fuck off, Luis! No, you fuck off, Tony. I didn't kill you. I wanted to. Why? Because you've become a useless junkie fuck. That's why. But I didn't. And now, it's you and me against the world, okay? And if your brains ain't working right, then I'll make the decision for us, okay? It's Bulgarin or us. Or you can shoot us both and make his life easy for him. Well, you're kind of clever, aren't you? I only hired you because I thought you were dumb. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Are you coming now? Yes, I'm coming now. 
Well, let's go. Come on. Bulgarian was moving some smack at it to Funland on Firefly Island. So, say we find him, what are we gonna do then? We're gonna take out their income stream, and then we're gonna take them out. End this bullshit. Okay, I'm armed, I'm dangerous, let's fucking do this! Come on, T. Give me a break. What? We're in this together! Tony, bro, I love you, but I should handle this alone. I don't want you getting yourself killed. Then you're gonna have to punch me out again, Lou. Don't make me, man. You know you're just gonna slow me down, bro. And kill us both. I want at least one of us to survive. Lou? Look, D, don't go home. Don't go to the clubs. Don't go nowhere anyone might conceivably think to look for you. There aren't many places like that left in the city, I'm afraid. Come on. Where do you think you can hide that no one would expect? I have no fucking clue. Uh, Dukes. I ran away from there when I was a kid, and I swore blind I'd never go back, apart from to catch a plane. Okay, cool. Hit up, like, uh, that monogram monument thing in Meadows Park. Hang out for a few hours. If I survive this shit, I'll find you. If I don't show, then I'm gone. Move to Brazil. Move somewhere. You'll never look back, T. I thought I was the annoying drama queen in this pairing. I'm serious, T. This is my last testament. Yo, send some money to my mom sometimes. And tell her I love her. Okay, Lou, shit. You'll be fine. Shit. No one in this whole crazy town is crazy enough to take you down.